It is, we're inching towards spring. It is still pretty chilly out there. Yeah, North it's Park. taken a while to get here, isn't it? It has been brutally cold in the Northeast, but warm air is coming. I promise next week it will be here. In the meantime, it is going to be a rainy weekend down through Florida, especially today along the Panhandle for this morning and then going through the rest of Florida as we go into this afternoon and overnight. Spotty showers, sometimes heavier downpours too, and then this will start to pull away. In the Pacific Northwest, on the opposite coast, we are seeing the next storm system approaching. It will bring some mountain snow today, but then it's really on Sunday when the heavier rain arrives along the coastline with these series of cold fronts that will just keep moving in. Rain down in the lower levels with up to about one to maybe two inches, especially just west of Seattle. But then you go up into the mountains and we could be looking at about eight to 12 inches in some areas. So that's where most of the activity will be elsewhere across the country. It looks like it's just going to be a chilly day, except in the middle of the country where it is going to be nice and warm temperatures today in North Dakota should get into the mid. 60s. That'll feel nice. Let's look at the weather across the country. Now here's a peek out your window. Thanks, Dylan. Good morning, everyone. Uh, dry in the city, but to the south in central New Jersey, we're tracking some snow showers right now. And that's your latest forecast. Back to you guys. All right, Dylan. Thank you. And still to come, anticipation is building for the interior. Accurate radar in the tri-state. Check. Apps in English and Spanish. Check. News for New York and Telemundo 47, the best choice this winter. System checks before perseverance begins seeking some. Our pop star, Dylan, that's you. All right, well, let's start with something everybody's talking about anyway. Coming to America, the much anticipated sequel to Eddie Murphy and Arsenio Hall's beloved 1988 comedy is now out just in time for your weekend movie night. The film follows Murphy's character, Prince Akeem, who finds out he's got a long-lost son back in Queens, New York. He and Hall's character, Semi, head back to America to bring the new prince to Zamunda. LeBron James, a.k.a. King James, even tweeted his love for the film, saying, it's beautiful royalty at its best. Eddie Murphy talked about making the sequel more than three decades after the original. And nobody aged a bit. You can watch it now on Amazon Prime. Did you see it yet? I haven't seen it yet, but I'm hoping they break out a little soul glow. <laughs> Turn it back a few decades. Peter knows all the lines to the first one, Dylan. <laughs> you can keep going. You want to keep going, Peter? <laughs> only, so many, only so many okay for, uh, for morning TV, but it's a bummer. <laughs> all right, I'll see you then. Up next, Bruno Mars is making new music once again. Mars has teamed up with Anderson Pat, calling themselves Silk Sonic. They just released their first single together. Take a listen. co-directed the video, which has racked up more than 6 million views since its release. Now, there is no word yet on when exactly the pair's new album is coming out, but the duo says they can't wait to perform once COVID-19 restrictions are lifted. Actually went to a Bruno Mars concert on New Year's Eve once. It was one of the best concerts I've ever been to, so I'm sure he's excited to get to, back to performing. All right, finally, it hasn't been their day, their week, their month, or even their year, but the 
Friends reunion is finally coming. Star David Schwimmer told Andy Cohen he and the entire Friends gang will be reuniting shortly. What's the update on the Friends reunion? Have you guys oh, shot it yet? We're um, actually in a little over a month. I'm heading out to L.A. So uh, finally, I mean, we figured out a I way, mean, I think, to film it safely. Um, and um, right. uh, there's going to be a portion of it that we film outside because of, you know, for safety right. protocols. Oh, it's happening. He says it's so nonchalantly. We've been waiting for so long. The special was initially supposed to premiere with the launch of HBO Max back in May, but filming obviously was delayed by the pandemic. No word yet on when it will exactly air, but fans are thrilled, obviously, to hear production is finally about to start. Kristen, are you a Friends fan? A huge Friends fan of all of the remakes. I cannot wait for this one. An update on Rachel and Ross. Yeah, that's like our college years revisited right there. Right? Exactly. Last from the past. Thank you so much. Still to come, the incredible show of support that brought a community together and a UPS driver to tears. We're back right after this. as well. Time for this morning's weekend morning boost, and that's in the hands of our friend Dylan Dreyer. <laughs> Oh my God. Southeast with some heavier rain expected through Florida and also in the Pacific Northwest. Another uh, start to a series of cold fronts that'll bring rain and mountain snow. It's warm through the northern plains, also down through uh, the central plains, too. Temperatures in the mid to upper 60s, still chilly in the northeast. But as we go into next week, we will begin to see temperatures warm up. Another cold day on Sunday in the northeast, and it still will feel like spring through the middle of the country on Sunday. That's a look at the weather across the country. Now here's a peek out your window. And that's your latest forecast. Kristen? Dylan, we love hearing about that warm-up. Hope it comes soon. <laughs> Still ahead, the four-legged friends getting lots of friends are helping people through the pandemic. Yeah, over the past year, dogs have become the newest member of countless households. I feel like I've slept in that household before. Probably. NBC's <laughs> Kelly Kobiea has more on the fun and not-so-fun parts of owning a pet. <laughs> we were just saying the same thing. They're so cute, though. My husband and I still in negotiations over whether to get one. <laughs> Keep us posted. We're back right after this.